I'm going to start researching my project. First things first, I go to easybib.com and I create a free login. And when I click the drop down menu from my free login, I see my citations lists. I click that and that takes me over here to my citation list. I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to title that Endangered Species. Now when I click on Endangered Species, that means that all of my future citations are going to go into this proper folder. When I create a citation, look at the options that I have. I can do a website, journal, book, but look at all these other options for ways to cite information. For this example, we're going to start by finding an official website. I've come over to Google and I've typed in the magical words official website when looking for my animal. I don't want any of those goofy, silly websites that isn't going to have good information. I don't want to waste my time, so I use those magical words. Now here are some options. Okay, Bison Society, I don't think so. But look at the National Zoo. Now that is a reasonable source. Let's click it. First thing I'm going to do the minute I open this is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add it to my EasyBib. Let's scoot through and just see if there's an author for this article on bison. There's no title for the person who wrote this. So this is going to be an article that is written by contributors to the site. Let's go over to EasyBib and create this citation together. Remember where I just pasted that URL? I'm going to paste it there and then I'm going to let it search. How fun! It found that article. If it didn't, that's okay. I can still create a citation manually, but it did. So now we're going to click Cite. And then it's going to tell me what it found. I'm going to go over here to Continue. And now I see the information in little boxes that I'm going to change. So I'm going to change this, of course, to a capital letter. We know that the author is contributor, so we're just going to put in contributor. And it's given us already the title. It's given us the, the URL. We're all set. All we have to do now is create the citation. And look, it created the citation. It says that it's missing the information, which means it's it's missing the writer of an article. There was no writer, so we're just going to click ignore that. And now we have our first citation. Super fun. Let's do another one together. So now I'm going to look through rescue programs, since that's ultimately what I want my reader to do. Now do you see some of these rescue programs, Adopt a Bison, Buffalo Field Campaign? These require a great deal of research to see if they're legitimate programs. You know that there's a lot of scams out there. And so the process of checking these out to see if they're legitimate, that's called vetting. And to vet a source means to make sure that it's credible. Here's one that we know is credible, the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. I know because I support them. Anyway, so that one I can check on. The National Wildlife Federation, we know that's legitimate. So maybe I'm just going to go through these and I'm going to select the ones that I know are legitimate. So let's go here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy the URL copy. We're going to go back over to EasyBib. Let me make sure there's no. Okay, so this is going to be site contributors again. Let's go over to EasyBib, create the citation. This is a website. Paste the URL, let it search, and it found it. So we're going to click Cite, review the information, continue. Okay, now once again, just like we did before, since there was no author, we're just going to put contributor and we're going to click create the citation. And there it is. And we're going to ignore that because there's no author for that particular thing. Now look, yay! 
Let's practice one more. This time, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cite the entire website. Once again, like we did before, we know that the World Wildlife Federation is legitimate. So we're going to click that. And what do we do? That's right. We copy. We go back over to EasyBib. We're going to create a citation. We pasted the link, the search, and it found it. And once again, if it had not found it, we would simply create a manual citation, which would take us to the same boxes that we have been working with before, where we're just filling those boxes. So let's go ahead and go to Cite. Review Information. Continue. Now, do you see a problem with what they found? The title of the website is not home. Let's go over to the website itself and find a better title. And we're going to go with Adopt a Bison Today. Go back to EasyBib and we're going to change that. There we go. We don't need to fill this in because we're just we're using the entire website. All the pages included in that. Now we're going to have to go back over here. We're going to have to find when this was published. Let's go do that together. And I scroll down to the bottom and I see that it's 2021. Back to EasyBib and I'm just going to add 2021 and I'm all through. Now I just complete the citation and there it is. And as you can see, we have cited an entire website so there won't be an author. And there we go. Ignore this because it's looking for. Her. And now we're all through. These are our beautiful citations. Now what we need to do is export all. Always Word document, export, give it a second, and you can see down here in the bottom tray where it created the work cited. We're going to click this and it opens in perfect format in Word. Now all I have to do is just copy this and add it to the end of my essay and I have the perfect citation page. Let's go over this last step one more time together. Export all. Always choose Microsoft Word. Export. Wait for it to open down in the tray. Click that. Go ahead and enable editing just in case anything's incorrect here. It's not, so it's all good. Copy this and add it to the end of the essay. That's the final phase that's so important. That concludes this tutorial on how to create your EasyBib project.